What's up everybody, Lucas here with practice and mental preparation. This tutorial will teach you how to do flares, but you gotta focus. Alright, let's get started. Some prerequisites to have before learning flares are general flexibility and general body weight strength. This stretch right here, also known as the seated straddle, is a great stretch for developing flexibility specifically for the flare. I almost call it the flare stretch. Now for strength, you want to be able to have the upper body strength to lift your butt off the ground in the still position. Having the strength to do an L sit is ideal before learning flares, however not 100% necessary. Also if you could do a tucked planche for a couple of seconds, that would be ideal as well, but once again, you will develop strength for flares by just practicing flares. However, being able to do these simple calisthenics movements will make learning flares a lot easier and a lot safer. Now let us begin learning flares. The first step is you're going to want to determine which way you're going to spin. Imagine a clock on the ground. If you spin counterclockwise the way I spin, you're going to be using the same arms and legs I described in this video at the same times. If you spin clockwise, then use opposite arms and legs. Now let us begin actually learning flares. Stand both feet on the ground. You're going to step out. If you're going counterclockwise like me, you step out with the left leg and you put the left arm on the ground. First the leg, then the arm, very close together. Then putting pressure on the ground with your left arm. You're going to want to swoop your left leg around the back and kick it towards your right heel. When your left leg is about to hit your right heel, you want to throw your right foot to the sky and lean on your left arm. When you get more used to doing this, you can speed it up and when you're ready, you can go for your first initial entrance. Swooping your left leg into your right heel, you need to throw your right heel towards the sky and allow your left leg to come around front. Then you're going to quickly place your right hand on the ground. A key principle that will help you learn high flares from the beginning is keeping your arms pushed down as far as they go. Do not sag. What do I mean by sagging? Don't do this. You do this. Push those arms down. Get maximum height. Think about it logically. No. Yes. In addition to pushing your arms down, something that will also help you get higher in the front and maintain more control is the blocking principle. When your legs come to the front with your flares, you actually want to lean your chest back. This will cause your arms to be on a slight angle, which will block them into the ground, which will give you more control as you get more height with your flares, so you don't pull away and shoot out to the front. The same thing works for the side and the back as well. When you go to the side, you want to lean towards the opposite side, and when you're in the back, you want to lean towards the front. Now back to the initial entrance with all things applied. Left arm down, swoop the left leg towards the right heel. You want to kick the right heel up super hard and hold down tight with the left arm. So right heel's kicking up, left arm is holding down. At this very moment, you're going to want to do the switch. As your left leg swooped under your right heel, it needs to then wrap around and shoot up towards the sky. There, you will put your right hand on the ground, holding tight, pushing down, leaning back, giving you a nice high V in the front. You might need to really work on this, develop the flexibility, work on the timing, but it's very simple in principle. Opposite arms, opposite legs. Now one of the parts most people struggle with, getting to the back and getting there high with flares. However, to be honest, there really is nothing super complicated when it comes to getting to the back. The same principle of kicking hard and holding down tight with the arms applies. So if you're going counterclockwise, when you're going to the back, you're going to be wanting to hold down hard with the right arm while kicking up hard with the left leg. Almost instantaneously after kicking up hard with the left leg and holding down with the right arm, you're going to want to kick in with the right leg. This will pull your left arm down to the front 
and help you get that V in the back. You want to always keep the flare moving, that's what keeps you above the ground. Now additionally, there's a little exercise that can help you get your hips as high as possible in the back. When you're going to be swooping around to the back and putting your left arm down, right arm clockwise, this cheesy looking silly exercise actually really helps. Go to the side, put that arm down, and when you do so, push your butt up to the sky and tighten your entire core. This is the same feeling you want when doing the flares. So instead of going around to the back of the flares and being basically neutral with the hips, this will help you get used to tightening that core, holding yourself down, pushing your hips way up to the sky, making your flares super high, super clean. It's a simple exercise, but it can help train your muscle memory to get you higher flares in the back. All right, now let's talk about keeping it spread in the back and then entering into your second flare to continue into more flares. So once again, kicking into the back, you're going to want to be kicking up with your left leg and in super hard with your right leg. When your right leg ends up kicking all the way around to the back, you're gonna end up in a straddle planche like position. Don't need to be able to do the straddle planche to be able to do flares because when you're doing flares, you're gonna be always moving, so it's gonna to be totally different. Now when you end up in that straddle planche like position, keeping your hips high is going to be ideal. That feeling is gonna be exactly the same as that cheesy exercise I just showed you. Now, when you've reached this position, you're going to be ready to enter into your second flare. Simply, it's just opposite arms and legs once again. So being in the straddle planche like position in the back, you are then going to want to shift your weight towards your left arm and start to move your legs back to the entrance. Your right leg is going to go up and your left leg is going to go under, kicking. Both legs are kicking super hard. You are then going to want to reshift your weight back to the front, always leaning opposing where your legs are kicking. So notice how I'm always leaning my arms away from where my legs are kicking. So if my legs are in the front, I'm leaning my arms back. If I'm in the back, my arms are leaning forward. If I'm on the side, I'm leaning towards the opposite side. Always blocking with the arms. When you do enter back into your second flare, continuing doing multiple flares, it's all the same. Always kicking, always holding down. Now at first your flares will probably look a little sloppy like this. That's okay. It's ideal to keep practicing and keep working on it. Keep thinking in your mind that you're gonna do better and better. Over time, your flares will improve significantly. Key principles, keep your arms pushed down, always kick with opposite legs while holding down with the opposite arms. Just keep these key principles in mind and sooner than later, your body will adapt to the micro adjustments and timing and you'll be having your legs flying above the ground, getting high flares all the way around, multiple flares, looking cool, looking slick. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, all together now, total recap, how to do flares. Start at the entrance position. You throw your left leg out, put your left arm down, swoop your left leg around as you kick your right leg towards the sky and shift your weight to your right arm. Kick your left leg up super hard and your right leg in super hard, coming to the back in the straddle planche position. You then continue your momentum around, kicking your right leg back up as you shift your weight to your left arm, kicking your left leg around and back up, continuing into the second flare. You keep this pattern going around and around, always leaning opposite, always kicking opposite legs. Seems like a lot, but it's very simple in principle, and I believe you can get it. I know you guys can do this. I hope this tutorial helps you all out. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. More videos coming out. I hope you all have a great day. Peace. You all have a good one. And I'll see you in the next video.